Jedi partners. Howdy, partners. I'm working on an FPS Friday. Yes, you're going to be suffering through my terrible Western voice. It's part of the gimmick. But first, before we actually get into busting out the old six years, let's have a booth. It's about as high as it'll go. I can try to adjust the angle to get it on in bed. So my apologies, I may be punching the mic a little bit throughout the stream tonight as it's kind of in front of my ashtray and over my mouse, but I can't use the headset with this here cowboy hat. I'm gonna have a minute to get started. Let everybody get a chance to get in here and laugh at me for looking like a ridiculous dumbass in this hat. Shout out for my lovely wife and chief moderator. Viking Cowboy. Let's check out these nuggets of truth actually that I've kind of picked up too. What the hell they think? Okay, so there's a fuck ton that I have not gotten. Uh, page two. Okay, well, I got some more. Horse theft! Before the automobile, the horse was the primary means of transport in the Old West, and having one often meant the difference between life and death for settlers living in the mountains or the endless prairies of the western United States. Without a horse, there was no way to work the land or herd cattle and get them to mine or fetch a town doctor in time to say who had ever fallen ill and been injured. In fact, without a horse, it was mighty hard to survive at all. No wonder that the horse thieves were treated as the scum of the earth and were usually lynched without a trial. Gallows was a common sight in the Wild West, and many men met their demise at the end of a rope because they stole an animal that didn't belong to them. The Lincoln County War is often considered one of the most famous examples of a range war in the history of the West. Range wars were conflicts over the control of open range, or the rangeland freely used for cattle grazing. The disputes were usually over grazing or water rights, but in this case, the fight was over the control of the dry goods trade in Lincoln County. The quarrel rose around in conflict of interest between the Dolan Murphy faction and the newly arrived Englishman, John Tunstall. At first, they tried to use their legal system to resolve their dispute, but soon the fight devolved into a conflict between armed gangs. Murphy and Dolan had ties to outlaws like John Kinney and his gang and Jesse Evans, whose outfit was known whose outfit was known as the Boys. They were responsible for the death of Tunstall, which became the central catalyst of the conflict. On the other side had the Regulators. William Boney, aka Billy the Kid, rode with them, promising revenge on the man who murdered Tunstall. Both sides were sworn in by different officers of the law, so technically they were all acting within the law. After the Regulators were defeated, some of their members became fugitives, and just like the Billy the Kid, met untimely and violent ends. Stinking Spurs. Pat Garrett was relentless in his pursuit of Billy the Kid and his gang. Garrett and his posse tracked them to his deserted stone farmhouse in Stinking Spurs and surrounded the building. 
Cape and Billy Company was a colorful collection of desperados. Among them were Tom Pickett, Billy Wilson, Charlie Bodron, and Dirty Dave Rudabaugh. Rudabaugh calls past with such legends as Dave Mather, Bat Masterson, Wyatt Earp, and Doc Holliday and died in a rather an unsavory manner as he was shot and then decapitated by a Mexican machete in 1886. Charlie Bodry, who probably killed Buckshot Roberts in Blazer's Mill gunfight, did not survive the siege at Stinking Springs as a bullet hit him in the chest while he was passing a window. The others surrendered on the following day, December 23, 1880, after Dirty Dave hoisted a white flag. The captured criminals were transported to Santa Fe where Billy was taken to Messia, where he was sentenced to death by hanging. He was then moved to Lincoln and him to wait in execution. It never happened, however, as the kid pulled off a spectacular jailbreak. Billy the Kid William Henry McCarty, also known as William H. Boney, Kid Antrim, or Billy the Kid, was probably born between 1859 and 1861. He died on July 14, 1881, shot by the sheriff Pat Garrett in Fort Summer, New Mexico. To this day, he remains one of the Wild West's most recognizable outlaws. Billy stood approximately 5 foot 8 tall and was of slender build, with blue eyes, blonde hair, and a boyish charm. Many reliable sources can vouch for his sense of humor, generosity, and unfriendly nature. He was shrewd, relentless, and reckless, and often put his own life in danger for those he cared about. He loved to sing and dance and could read and write. His handwriting was said to be extremely neat. Billy was very popular with the ladies, although he never played favorites. Not one soul who knew him personally ever said he had an explosive temper or propensity to kill at the slightest provocation. The kid owes that image to his killer, Pat Garrett, who wrote a book embellishing his exploits two years after Billy's death. Hollywood then burnished that myth to a high shot. Contrary to popular belief, Billy was not a stone cold killer or even much of a criminal. He never lived an outlaw life of robbing banks, stagecoaches, and trains. Petty rustling and horse thievery were the worst of his transgressions. Billy was credited with killing 21 people, but that number was inflated considerably. He definitely killed four men, two in self-defense, two during jailbreak, and he participated in shootouts during the Lincoln County War, which left another five people dead. But then again, they might or might not have been both killed by the bullets of Billy the Kid. And them's the nuggets of truth. Gunfight at the sawmill. <sighs> now, howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome in. Thank you for joining me, Cliff. is going tonight. Yes, sir, this is a gimmick at its finest. And I do hope you appreciate the effort. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. You get one customer after this. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. Uh... That's what I want. In the long shot. I'm 
remember how to play the video game. Early Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight, that should have hit the fucking head. The Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. I'm gonna guess those are Wyatt's kids. Cockshot! Little high? Gotcha. Thanks for announcing it. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Well, that should hit you. Shit, I'm low. Yeehaw, motherfucker. I'm ending you. He didn't shoot first, though. Like, I shot before he had a shot. So one thing that could, does kind of bug... Where? Where? Bro, there's literally nobody. Question mark? Can you maybe render somebody that would be shooting me, then? That is my one thing that does kind of piss me off about it. For sure. And sometimes they get shots off before it literally puts them in there. They just get a shot and you're like, literally, where the fuck did that come from? I was looking at that area, there was fucking nothing. Okay. Any of you fucks have rifle ammo? Just not. There we go, there's some ammo, but no rifle. I swear some of you have rifles. I swear some of you fucks had rifles. Can I get some ammo, please? Thanks, Jimmy. I can fucking actually go the right way back. Can I just fucking like run past it at the beginning or something? Back somewhere. I fucking swear some of you assholes had rifles, though. Get up there. Eh, jump! Damn it, cowboy! Come on. Top here, and maybe at least get a vantage point. Or you're just not gonna throw anybody else at me yet. I'm just iffy because I don't know if it's gonna have like a just a random hey, you can't go there. It started in the little shed thing. Um, what can I? What the fuck am I stuck on? Yeah, see, there's the wall I was kind of worried about. At least it didn't kill me. Oh, 
good shit. Magically appearing fucks. Anybody else? Nobody? Bueller? Bueller? That there were just... killers around air room corner. All Again, you literally just that. fucking spawned them out of nowhere. He walked in. Hitbox? Hitbox, perhaps? Like, what the fuck? He, he, there was three shots that fucking went right into him. And it did not read those. Oh, of course. Excuse me, bro? I'm putting you down. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. That's the thing, like, I don't get it. Sometimes it's just got really weird angles on stuff. And they take no damage on shots and then can hit you with shots that don't make a lot of sense. I'm gonna... They say that Ringo was infernally fast. You were nowhere near me with that, but whatever. I saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Hey, look, thingy. Earp oh. oh. wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken it. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earth. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Um, let's throw, load that up. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son Again, take over the just Cowboys? Just spawned them there, because right? Ike Clanton was, was dumber than, than a hell. box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Uh, I think it's G still with it. I got just feel like it's gonna be douchey to throw a fucking saw at me somewhere. It's like this just bottoms are red. Taking down the entire the cowboy gang single handed. Indeed, I was, Jack. There's here, like, yeah. Oh, 
That was a double. Come on. The fuck? Again, that went right through him. He didn't pop out to shoot. Good cover. Impossible cover, one might say. You bastard. Hi, baby boy. I'm getting distracted by baby cat. Uh, okay. Again, that was four fucking straight shots into his chest. Didn't want to register any of them. No, Jasper. Nobody. Can you take the baby boy? Pass off the kitty. <laughs> uh, that was your head. It's so weird sometimes, it really is. It's okay, hang on. It's gotta go down a little bit, I think. Quake settings are too fast. It's too jerky. For it. Anyone else? I think that's them all. Where? Oh, hi. Okay. Bullshit, dude. <laughs> Suck that shit, buddy. Okay, how the fuck are you still up? Bro. Excuse me? How the fuck is he show up? He's eating so much dynamite, that's not even funny. I... I question. You're on so much crack game, it's not even funny. This guy. Eating a million shots here. Or that could happen, I guess? Which makes no sense, but sure, game. Fuck on that shit. Fucking cheap. Can you just die, bro? Like, what the fuck? He doesn't even have a shield. He's literally standing out in the open, just eating headshot after headshot after headshot. Come on, game. That was fucking. Quite an impressive operation. Quite questionable fucking physics. I mean, yeehaw, but what the fuck? That was some bullshit. He didn't have a shield anymore. Why the fuck was he just so resilient? Standing there, in the open, not even taking cover, just eating headshot after headshot after headshot. And then the other guy, like, three grenades. Bro, a wooden shield that's a door? They didn't protect him from that. Come on. Come on, come on. A lot of ammo for that. Not a lot of ammo for the fucking life. Too slow. There we go. There's some rifle ammo. Spank you kindly. Bonus. 
stuff, bonus stuff, bonus stuff. That looks like somewhere I'm going to be living later, possibly. Bonus things! Locomotive! What do we think of the train? Doesn't appear so. Was Curly yeah, Bill? See. Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly. Gonna be right. Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. I wasn't actually a fan of how the shotgun worked in this. Not sure. Okay, so that's. should have been over there to hit that, but whatever. We're in that movie, try to get better with it. Let's see. Uh, here we'll swap it. See if I can, can get more. It just felt weird for a shotgun. And that's it's too bad because like shotguns kind of my thing. I like shotguns. These are ones too, but I fucking always like shotguns. I grew up playing Duke, man. Of course, I'm gonna like shotguns. Okay, I'm kind of going around in circles here, though. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Was I already here? <laughs> takes a shot before he takes a shot. Curly Bill. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Time to dance with the devil! Okay, that's a little bullshit. I'm out of night. I need some dynamite. I... Bullshit? Bullshit. I dodged. And again, you like I hit the trigger button long before he did anything. You refused to acknowledge it. Popped him out of fucking nowhere. Okay, like again, your angles don't make sense, bro. What? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. You literally just fucking pop them out of nowhere in no time with no actual reference for them being there. That's not how cover works, dude. Like, you need to decide on your mechanic. Is it a shooting gallery, or is it a normal game where I can actually move around and play? Because if it's that, I could flank them. Not this bullshit where, like, I'm right where they're at, and they somehow get around and, like, pop off out of nowhere. 
decide what you want to fucking be, game. It's annoying as hell. I'm the name. Shit, dude! I fucking can't take two punches? That is fucking garbage! Come on! That's some fucking garbage, dude. You wanna bet? I'm sorry. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. This is bullshit. You literally have you shooting through everything, but I can't shoot through stuff. Like this makes no fucking sense. Okay. Then it needs a way better way of representing that, because it still looks like it goes by me. That needs a way better way of that being represented. Because I dodged by it. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringle nor Curly Bill. If you show it going by me, I went it went by me. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just Okay. Fucking bullshit, dude. And I'm sorry, again, that's just bullshit. Spam, overwhelm me, eat, just fucking buckshot, 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 but I, I can only take two shots at all, or two punches. It, that's just hilariously unbalanced. I don't expect it to hand it to me, but I expect it to not be just lame as fuck. Okay, yeah, just keep running through it, no problem. Yeah, like I put points into leveling up my shotgun. Why is nothing happening out of that? That that were those were all headshots. Jesus fucking Christ. The hit registry in this game is awful. As soon as this game actually wants to make any sort of fucking coherent sense, that'd be great, man. Like, how many times you gotta eat just a direct fucking shot and then it's not even gonna register that it's hitting you when I'm watching it fucking ping up and you're not taking damage? Bullshit. Fuck you! Sorry, bro, you ain't just tanking that to the face like that. Uh, you had no shot. You had no shot. Broker Suck a fucking no dick. But to take his life. Yeehaw! Was nowhere to be found. Oh, I'm a little annoyed at some of the fucking hit registry on it, though. It's like, I'm watching bullets go into them, and then it's just like, nah. I watch bullets whiz past me, and yeah, I get hit. Or they get shot, they take a shot when there's literally nobody there. It's like, you, you gotta be able to fucking render them. You gotta be able to fucking render them. Come on. It renders them where they are after I get shot twice. Even though I just was looking there. It's fun, but it's kind of fucking annoying. <laughs> Fuck, I hate the duels. Because they're really weird. It's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Mm, I'm gonna fuck it up. I hate the duels. They're so weird. It's such a weird way to try to control this. Again, interesting idea. The mechanic is terrible. No, I'm dead. Bro, what? N come on. You didn't even render a shot. 
terrible. You have to render a shot, or he didn't shoot! That's how that works! I'm sorry, guns actually shoot things. That's how they kill people. That's incredible, if you If you didn't actually make a shot, uh, he didn't shoot, I didn't die. Like, come on. The way this thing fucking moves is all jank as fuck, too. It really is. I don't care. I don't care if it's dishonorable. Fuck you. I don't care if it's dishonorable. Sorry Fuck I had you. To ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. <laughs> he got off an entirely oh, bullshit man, shot that didn't even shoot anything. Nor did he even actually reach. He just kind of suddenly had the gun there. It's like, okay, did, nobody's that fast. That's kind of what the part of this is doing. Was there wasn't of even a shot. Going, Curly Bill, and realized there was real money to be made. That's that was so hit scared. Henry Plummer. <laughs> it wasn't he the sheriff. It literally did. It's like there was. It, it didn't even fucking. Didn't even throw a shot. You didn't watch the bullet go with everything else. It's like you saw my bullet go. Nothing. Nothing came out of his gun. Just dead. So it's true that the you idea is cool. Them? It just seems Indeed so I ridiculously did, RNG. Indeed, I did. As well as fighting a, a <laughs> trunk ass control scheme. But, yeehaw. Also, you gotta do one of these. Partner. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff I think is really cool. I like. It's just some of the transitions and the way that it works in between it is a little bit like jarring and disconnected feeling and it's just kinda like, um bleh. like his snap to well handy is it does it in a really weird way. <laughs> you gotta like take a couple shots a lot of times to actually try to get it mantling up because it's just fucking spinning it all weird. Like, he doesn't look like he's coming normally. He looks like he's going, like... Dude, like, tucking the fucking gun up like this, and then, like, spinning it around and coming... It, it feels just really weird to try and do. Whereas it should be... Feel kind of natural and to move... It, again, I love the idea, but I it... I just the control on it feels so... Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the band, Buzzard, and put a generous price on his head. Buzzard, Buzzard. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape, and that's where I thought I'd find him. Yeah, I really like that they're in there. It's kind of what really sells the whole. It's like Western gunslinger game. It's just they feel very strange and awkward to try to. Do and even when you get a read on things and how some things work, sometimes it just seems to jump all over the place. And what happens with the opponent and what they get too, and like what kind of bonus or what their whole status and modus operandi is, it seems like it just arbitrarily flips a switch each time you try it. And it's like, but, but okay, I get maybe adding a little bit of difference, but these are characters that are supposed to have certain things that they do, right? Okay, so these guys are all bad. Father pointed out to me more than once. God made you see, the first one hit him. I watched it go through his leg. Like, what the fuck? Bruh. Well, I mean, I got a bunch off already. Are the dead people talking? Is that what's happening? Are they supposed to have lives and I killed them too soon? Sorry, partners. I cut you off. I got none. I knew that goes boom. It's also a quick way to probe. 
see if anybody's there. Second boom. Third boom. Okay, here's somebody screaming. I'll come by and check you out. Check out your Friday Night Frat features. Thank you for stopping by. Secret? 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 No. Damn it. I wanted it to be a secret, motherfucker. Fucking cacti and shit. Punji sticks? I mean, they kind of look like they just made them into punji sticks. Okay, so. This is where I came up here. So that's just the other side of the road. Stood a shiny demon. There. In the middle of the road. He said, play the best song in the world, or I'll eat your soul. So, so me and Kyle each looked at each other, and we each said, okay. And we played the first thing that came to our heads. Just so happened to be responding TNT barrels. <laughs> I mean, I'll take more points. I guess. Trick shot. Oh, didn't work. <laughs> chickens! Look at all them chickens! Thank you for finishing that meme perfectly for me. I knew that dynamite Ooh. wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. Give, 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 give to me. Hello. I see no one. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in '48. Okay. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. That hit you. There were thieves, and killers, robbing travelers, and hijacking gold ships. Like those that ran with plumber. Some were just regular folks yep, I knew from shit. town, drawn by green. <laughs> That's a no but oh. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Put the out of here. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's son. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Just another day in the wild west. Six shooter versus the ranger. Maybe we won't try it. Sounds kind of cool, and I expect a little bit of the ranger myself. The rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Dangerous, desperate individuals. If Daddy had lived to see Alfred Nobel's explosive invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. Bummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to break. Oh, okay, I felt like I was closer to the other one that blew up and I didn't get hit, but all right. No, I, I, like, I like the Ranger. This thing's actually pretty sweet. Ooh, take that. Look for stuff. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. 
They must have thought I was tough. Or had some kind of death wish. There's a new sheriff in town. One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. I love that they keep responding. I really do. About what I was doing? No. Uh, I got him, I think. Gotcha. Uh, the fuck, partner? Looking for loot. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. Come on, there's gotta be some secrets hanging around here. There's gotta be. I have to get a hang in that dodge. It just, again, it represents weirdly. Where there's one that, yeah, you dodge way farther over, but the other one still looks like it's just, it looks like it's a near miss where you kind of dodge it and it goes, whoop, okay, that's a real close one. It doesn't actually look like it hits you. So when it hits you, it's kind of just like, that's bullshit. Please represent what is actually happening. That'd be great. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine. Oh, yeah, Once so. I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. Uh, that sounds like a choice. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in. Quick little booth. Yeah, see, I like this rifle. I'm... The boomstick's weird. I feel like it doesn't properly act like a shotgun. There's something weird about it. Can I drop skills? Can I reassign? Is there a way to reassign? Well, we're here. Let's read about John Ringo. John Peters Ringo was born on May 3rd, 1850, and ended his life of violence 32 years later. History remembers him as an outlaw and a gunfighter who was associated with the Cowboys gang in his final, final years. In 1874 to 76, Ringo earned his reputation as a dangerous desperado while fighting in the Mason County War. His deeds during that conflict cost him almost two years in jail before the charges were finally dismissed. Soon after arriving in Arizona, an inebriated Ringo shot and wounded a man in a saloon for preferring to drink his beer instead of the whiskey Ringo bought for him. It is no surprise that around Tombstone, Ringo's reputation was that of an ill-mannered, ill-tempered, violence-prone saddle tramp, especially when drunk. On the other hand, who knows what his reputation could have been if the fight at the OK Corral had gone differently. History is written by the victors in Wyatt Earp and his brothers not only won the actual fight, but the PR battle as well. On the 13th of July, 1882, Johnny Ringo was found dead with a gunshot wound in his head and a revolver in his hand. He was sitting under a tree, barefoot. His horse was found two weeks later, his boots tied to the saddle as cowboys off the dune to keep the scorpions out. His death was officially ruled a suicide, but we still don't know whether the king of the cowboys was killed by Wyatt Earp or Doc Holliday, or if he simply shot himself because he felt his life was no longer worth living. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying the game quite a bit, and it is fun. The mechanics are fun too. They just 
the implementation feels kind of ropey, and it's just weird to try to acclimate to and have feel like having any consistency. But that also made it more dangerous, as there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Again, I pulled the trigger before you even took a shot, but it lagged it. Literally, I saw him. I pulled it when I saw him turning. He didn't. I watched that go wide, but all right. Fucking ropey ass physics. He literally didn't even pay attention to the first one. I'm sorry, what? I question that. Okay, we're gonna try you again, boomstick. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Now they got to shot him into hell. I'm you. Nope, I ended you. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. What? There was a fucking five foot drop. Are you kidding me? How weak are your ankles? How weak are your ankles, hombre? That was a five foot drop at most. What the actual fuck? Show yourself. You ain't beefing me. Where? There was nowhere he would have been completely hit because I literally came around the thing and looked. There's nowhere he would have been hidden there. You can't hide him in in that tiny little space. There. With that little thing to do. No. I literally came around that. Come on. What the shit, game? Kaboom. Okay, so that's back to that. That's actually the other side. Okay, so... Dude, come on! Baby. Quick reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Ah! Luckily, I was never one to be easily pushed. You couldn't really. What do you mean, quick reflexes? I couldn't do shit there because you fucking slowed me to a snail's pace. Yeah. 
I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. He's hitting it, but he's like literally wouldn't With move. All that gunpowder and dynamite oh. everywhere. A body has to know what he's shooting at. All okay, it takes so is one tiny spark, yeah. and boom. So that's just gonna be a crapshoot of bullshit RNG because they're gonna take a shot and hit them too. That's awful. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blast too. And it did. I freely admit that my plan of attack is not just moronic, but clearly insane. Fuck out, get the fuck out! Woo shit! Good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder, a way into the mine from the opposite side. This is one of my other things that kind of annoys me about the game. It just locks you in a failing for no reason sometimes. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, they they're trying to tell different things. Just heights, sort of that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Engraved ranger. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Was it like the final upgrade? Okay. Kimbo. Rage. Improve damage and concentrate. Us. You gotta get these first. It's just weird the way again it's, it, the way that these set up seems very awkward. It doesn't. Buff the fucking shotgun some more because it's not. Yes. Definitely a yes on that. Fucking reload the damn thing faster. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes. No man can slower. dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. Uh, it looks like you want me to jump. I needed to make a leap of faith. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. I was determined not to give up, however. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. Bullshit. Bullshit. Thank you. My mission to settle that talk shot hell or high water. Oh, 
cock shot, partner. Yeehaw! I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator, or climb the ladder. Oh, choice again. Which, you know, isn't actually gonna be a choice, because you're just gonna fucking screw me over out of the one that you present. I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. was a mad dog killer, and the people of Shit. Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. You die? Well, Thank you, dude. Taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Smish? Smish? No? Okay. Ah, shit. Are we about to get another duel? Oh man, outlaw, scale away. Catch this, you son of a bitch! This man is just getting worse and worse for you. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. That's your brother. I can shoot too. Uh, what's your face? Oh, Bullshit! You like that word, eh? Where are you, bitch? They're gonna bury you in a million pieces. So long. <laughs> Bulls what? Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm sorry, that's fucking garbage. Just wings me with an extra shot out of nowhere when I'm already moving around the thing and it just stopped me. Fucking garbage. And they could just eat. Again, he can eat a million things. Oh, now he's gonna fucking spam. Now he's gonna spam dynamite? Come on. Hello? What the fuck? Like, you. Wow, dude. That was some fucking broken bullshit. What the fuck just happened there? Got locked on the dynamite and wouldn't do anything with it? Get the fuck over yourself, you piece of shit game. Come on, dude.
That's just some fucking garbage. Bullshit! I can, when this thing isn't being absolutely full of fucking garbage, dude. Bro, get the fuck- come on! Literally just spamming it now. Come on. How broken are you? Absolute arbitrary unpredictable bullshit. Bullshit, dude. Absolute fucking garbage. He it's like he doesn't have his fucking auto aim is fucking shit. It's auto-aim and shit, that's not even funny. And I love how many fucking... How much they just... Bullshit, you had no shot. That was your head. God, this fucking pisses me off, it's such bullshit. Where are you, fat man? I'm sorry, what? Bullshit! Some pure fucking garbage is what's happening, dude. Dude! That is such- that is such fucking broken garbage! There's literally- there's- Taking shots from- there's not anybody fucking there! It's getting terrible right now, where you just- There's shots coming where there's literally nobody, and he's just spamming dynamite constantly. That is broken as fuck. Can you actually, like, fucking take the damage? That was your head? That was fucking- that was your head three times? This is such horseshit. This is unbelievable horseshit. Literally, just fucking bring it- headshot, 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 headshot! Just ignores it. And now you're just being cheap and starting him at half health out of nowhere? Such fucking garbage, dude. I can see you, like, what the fuck? Yup. Okay, how the fuck am I getting shot, dude? Can you just fucking take damage, dude? Like, that's... What are you, Yella? Literally. Shut the fuck up. Dude, this game is such horseshit. Like, this is impossible! This is impossible! You're making shots where there is nobody there! I'm done! This is fucking garbage! Nope. Fuck yourself. I'm done. That's some fucking bullshit. He should've been dead eight times over from the amount of bullets he's just fucking eating in his dome while he's sitting there talking shit, and then all of a sudden he gets to just spam dynamite constantly? And the guy who's standing right next to a fucking TNT barrel that I just love can still somehow shoot me? Bullshit, dude.
This has been another fucking yeehaw episode. I'll be back to it at another point for today and for another week, two weeks. Fuck this fucking piece of shit game. Yeehaw, motherfucker. Hopefully, as always, the content's been stimulating and satisfying to your ears, because that's the point of why we come here and play, play these games, and it was until that fucking bullshit. I'm gonna go raid like Boogie now. Thank you for coming, everybody. Until next time. Fuck this game. Get your shields and axes ready, because it's time for a raid, and you don't bring those, you're not gonna have a good time. Just like I wasn't having a good time with that absolute bullshit boss fight. Lex is on follower or subscriber only, but that's not hard to fix. If you like what you see, just hit the follow button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps the streamer out. And just remember, your favorite streamers can I use extra support tonight, this week, this month, because it's September. You get to sub for, I think it's like $2 off almost? Make sure you do it on PC, though. It doesn't work on the mobile. Um, yeah. Alright, looks like the raid's ready to go. See you later, everybody. Howdy.